Hey, what the fuck is up, guys? Lordy Guy here. Fun fact, my wife just left me, so let's cope by using math. A charge Q equals uh, 2.2 microcoulombs is placed at the point P shown below. What is the force on Q in N? Assume the positive direction is to the right. Indicate the direction with the sign of your answer. All right, so kind of standard stuff. We're going to be using Coulomb's Law right here to help us with this problem. Just the first things first, we have to pick which uh, charges we want to multiply first and which radius we want to use. Um, it doesn't really matter what you do. Just make sure that it's consistent. So we are going to multiply the first Q, the 2.2, with the one that's most left. Just That's just because I want to. So when we plug this in, we do, um, instead of Q1, we put 2.2. Instead of Q2, we put 1.3. And then instead of R squared, we do the sum of these distances and we plop it right there. So this would be 3.9, uh, 3.9 squared. This K constant is 8.99 times 10 to the 9. All right, and then just like I said, K constant right here multiplied by 2.2 times 1.3 microcoulombs and then divided by the r squared which is 3.9 squared when we do this we get 0 0.00169 now we aren't done here we just did the charge from the first positive one the one at point p um and the effect that the 1.3 charge had on this one now we must find the charge um from this one and how it affects the one on point P. So let's do the same thing. Um, following the Coulomb's law, we need 2.2 in Q1. We need the negative 3.3 in Q2. That's arbitrary. This could be, it doesn't matter which order you set them in. As long as the radius or whatever the distance is between them is consistent. Since we're using the one that's closest, the charge closest to it, we want to use the radius that follows. So this is 1.3 meters. Uh, and we put that in for R squared. So this would be 2.2 microcoulombs, and then negative 3.3 microcoulombs, and then over 1.3 squared, all multiplied by the K constant, which is 8.99 times 10 to, 10 to the 9. All right. Doing this, we get our formula right here. And then when we plug this into our calculator, we get point, uh, sorry, negative 0 0.03862. So because this is a larger charge and because it is closer, we can, you know, kind of make that mental check in our head that this is the correct and basically the avatar in our situation. But alas, the job is not done. The job is never done. We want to find the net force of these charges onto the charge Q at point P. What we can do is we can get the sum of all forces just to find that. So all we have to do is add this force to that force. And when we do that, we should get, we should get, oh, oops, that is not the right one, sorry. We should get negative 0.03693. And because this one is attracting it, because the one in the middle is attracting it to the left, that means the uh, result is negative. Because assume the positive direction is to the right, that means negative to the left. And when we plug this in, we get the correct answer. Have a great day. I am proud of you. Uh, touch some fucking grass, idiot.